Junie Tony Story Musical Cinderella. Shall we start? Cinderella, Cinderella, where are you? I'm here, Mother. Look at her face. It's all covered with soot and cinders. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we call her Cinderella, the little cinder girl. <laughs> Cinderella lived with her stepmother and two stepsisters. All of them were very mean to her. Cinderella, Cinderella, her parents passed away. Her stepmother and stepsisters were so mean to her. Oh, how much she Cinderella, look at the floor. Clean it right now. Don't forget to wash my clothes. And bake some cookies, too. I want a sweet snack. Don't worry, they will be done soon. Cinderella worked hard all day, but she always smiled and was kind to her family. One day, they heard the news that there would be a big ball in the castle. <laughs> I'm sure that the prince is looking for a bride. <laughs> oh, what if the prince falls in love with me? <sighs> what? <laughs> Are you kidding? That won't happen. You fall in love with me. <laughs> no way. I am better than you. What? Oh, you know I'm oh, good. so much better than you. No, you're not. not. No, no. <laughs> a mother? I want to go to the ball too. What? <laughs> oh, come on, Cinderella. Look at your clothes. You can't go anywhere with those dirty clothes. Stay at home doing housework. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go to the ball. <laughs> Anna, do not cry, Cinderella. I can help you with my magic. Ring. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Special magic spell for Cinderella. I'll send you to the ball. Turn the pumpkin into a carriage, mice into horses, a lizard into a coachman. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Ring. Oh, I almost forgot the most important thing. Here we go one more time. Ring. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Special magic spell for Cinderella. I'll send you to the ball. Head scarf into a crown. A rib dress into a gown. Finally, the glass slippers. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Ring! Wow, Fairy Godmother, it's such a beautiful gown. <laughs> Remember, Cinderella, the spell breaks at midnight, so you must come back before then. I will. <laughs> Beautiful Cinderella got on the pumpkin carriage and went to the castle. Right then, the prince approached her. Beautiful lady, would you like to dance with me? Yes. Special magic spell, beautiful Cinderella, arrives at the ball, dancing elegant waltz with the royal prince. She's the most beautiful princess in the world. <laughs> Cinderella was so happy that she didn't see the clock. Suddenly, the clock started to chime. It was oh. almost midnight. Cinderella ran out of the castle. While running so fast, she dropped one of her glass slippers. But she kept running. <laughs> the prince found the slipper and picked it up. 
find the owner of this slipper and bring her to me. Yes, yes Your Highness. Highness. The prince's servants visited every house in the kingdom with the slipper. At last, they arrived at Cinderella's house. <laughs> Give it to me. It's too small for you. <laughs> It seems that neither of you are the owner of this slipper. Hmm? Oh, young lady, come try it on, please. No, you don't have to. Look, she is just a servant girl. The prince said every young lady in the kingdom should try it on. Come on, young lady, go ahead. Okay. The glass slipper fit Cinderella just right. She took out the other slipper from her pocket and put it on, too. Oh, we found the lady! Oh, yeah. Good. Good. Yes. Yes. It's it's really good. Good. Oh, I like it! Oh, that's awesome! Time to rejoice! We found the lady! The one prince has been looking for! Come round, everyone! To sing and dance for her! from among the people with flowers in his hands. <gasps> My prince! Cinderella, will you marry me? Yes! And so Cinderella and the prince were married and lived happily ever after. Junie Tony Story Musical, see you next time! Junie Tony Story Musical, Beauty and the Beast. Shall we start? Once upon a time, there lived a rich merchant. One day, he set off on a long trip to buy some goods. Children, I will return with your gifts. What do you want? I want a beautiful necklace. I would like a pair of shiny shoes. What about you, Belle? What shall I bring you? A rose will be fine. However, I wish most of all that you return safely. <laughs> Sometime later, on his way back home after finishing his business, a sudden storm blew and made him lose his way. <sighs> it's too hard to go any farther. I'll have to get some rest in that castle. The merchant carefully entered the castle. There was lots of delicious food on the table. I'm starving. I'll just have a little. After he ate his food, he fell fast asleep. When the merchant woke up the next morning, he saw a garden full of roses. But the moment the merchant was about to pick a rose... Who dares to take my rose, my precious red rose? How dare you try to pick my flower? You got lost in the woods, I felt pity for you. I even gave you food and a place to stay. A grateful merchant, he the rose, ungrateful merchant, he tried to pick the rose. Oh, please forgive me, sir. I was just trying to give it to my youngest daughter as a gift. Promise to bring your daughter to me. Then I shall let you go. Trembling with fear, the merchant made the promise. A few days later, a beautiful lady came to the castle. Hello? My name is Belle. My father tried to pick a rose, and that was because of me. I came to beg for mercy instead. The beast fell in love with Belle at first sight. 
Though the beast looked scary, he had a kind heart and good manners. In time, Belle also fell in love with him. From how you're seen outside, there is something soft and warm inside your heart. Even though I cannot get close to you, still I want to take care of you. As time passed, the two of them became closer and closer. I want to share the smell of flowers Like a little child Let's run around my pretty garden I wish I could be happy with you Belle and the Beast spent many happy days together. Then, one day, Belle looked very sad. Belle, is there something wrong? I miss my father so much. Can I go see my family for just a few days? Seeing Belle sad, the Beast hesitated, then said to her, Please, promise me that you will come back to me. Of course, I promise you. Belle returned home. She was very happy to be with her family. However, the beast got ill while waiting for Belle to come back to him. But not coming back, are you? Belle finally came back, but saw the beast had fainted, so she shouted. Dear beast, I'm back now. Please wake up. I can't bear go on living without you. A teardrop fell from Belle's eyes and dripped on the beast's cheek. Suddenly, the beast's face started to glow, and he became a handsome prince. Belle, you broke the curse. I love you. The prince lovingly looked at Belle and proposed to her. From then on, Belle and the beast lived happily ever after. Junie Tony Story Musical. See you next time. Junie Tony Story Musical. Rapunzel. Shall we start? Once upon a time, there lived a couple in a countryside. The wife got pregnant and only wanted to eat the lettuce grown in the witch's garden. Darling, I really want to eat that lettuce. As many days passed, the wife got thinner and weaker. The husband got so worried that he broke into the witch's garden. I will take some just for my wife. Just when the husband was about to slip out of the garden. Someone came into my garden, stealing Rapunzel. You thought I didn't know? I won't let you go! Please forgive me just this one time. My wife is pregnant. I beg you! Later, as soon as the baby was born, the witch took her to the top of a tower, and she named her 
Rapunzel. The witch took her far away, Rapunzel, Rapunzel. The witch took her far away, Rapunzel, Rapunzel. Much time passed. Rapunzel grew into the most beautiful girl in the world. She had long and golden hair, and her skin was as white as snow. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. <laughs> Rapunzel let her long golden hair down, and the witch climbed up to the top of the tower. <laughs> yeah. Mother, I wish to see the world outside. No, you can't. The world outside is too dangerous for you. You must stay up in this tower forever. Rapunzel had to stay in the tower every day, so she felt very lonely and bored. Still, she loved to sing. I have a pretty face and a pretty name, Rapunzel. I live in a tower far deep in the forest. To be alone, I feel a little bit sad. So I sing with the birds and dance with the little squirrels. I have a pretty face and a pretty name, Rapunzel. I live in a tower. Far deep in the forest, I want to escape from here and see the world outside. But it's impossible for me. I am the lonely Rapunzel. One day, a prince rode by and heard Rapunzel singing from the tower. Oh. Where is this beautiful voice coming from? The prince followed the voice and saw Rapunzel singing by the window. At that moment, the witch appeared and called out Rapunzel. Soon, long and golden hair fell from the top of the tower. Next day, the prince went to the tower and called for Rapunzel to let down her hair. He climbed to the top of the tower where she was. Oh, how brave you are to come here, Prince! Rapunzel, you are so beautiful. The prince and Rapunzel fell in love with each other at first sight. I've been waiting for a long time, oh my love. Why have you been hiding in a place like this? I've been waiting for a long time, oh my love. You are such a brave prince, the one I was waiting for. I truly feel happiness now that we are holding hands. She's so pretty. He's so handsome. We will be together forever. The witch was watching them at a distance. She got very angry. How dare you lie to me and meet the prince? There will be no mercy. <sighs> The witch cut Rapunzel's hair and drove her away from the tower. The second day, when the prince came to visit Rapunzel again, the witch let down the hair she had cut down. When the prince was about to reach the top of the tower, the witch let go of the hair. The prince fell into a thorn bush, hurt his eyes, and became blind. The prince wandered around the forest, and one day he heard Rapunzel's voice. 
dog. This voice. He slowly followed the voice into the woods. Rapunzel recognized the prince and ran toward him, crying. Prince, please open your eyes. <laughs> the moment Rapunzel's tear fell on the prince's cheek, something unbelievable happened. Slowly, the prince was able to open his the eyes. Prince has opened his eyes again. Open his eyes again. Open his eyes again. Now that he could see again, he let her know what he had been thinking about for a long time. Rapunzel, will you marry me? Oh, my prince! La 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 la, Rapunzel, long long golden la, 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 Rapunzel, she was so lonely. La 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 la, la Rapunzel, escaped from the tower. La, 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 Rapunzel. Story musical, the Bremen Town musicians. Shall we start? We are the town musicians of Bremen. We love to march and sing together. La 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 a dog, a cat, and a rooster. The village farmers decided to sell them because they were getting old. Do you want to hear the story of these poor animals? I'm, I'm the old donkey. I'm the deserted old donkey. I worked hard for my master, but now he's trying to desert me. Run away, oh run! Far away, run away, oh run! Far away. Then where should I go? Where should I head to? How can I live leaving the old farm? At that moment, some sparrows flew by and said to the donkey, "Go to Bremen. They are looking for some musicians." The donkey ran out from the farm and set off to Bremen to be a musician. Clip clop, clip clop. Now. Let's move on to the story of the dog. I have lost all my claws, and I lost my one last tooth. I worked hard for my dear master, and now he is selling me off. You say an old dog is useless. Is that true? Now you say I'm useless. Why? You say an old dog is useless. <laughs> Now you say I'm useless. I have lost all my claws and I lost my one last tooth. I worked hard for my dear master, and now he is selling me off. Leaving the farm, where should I head to? Where should I go? Leaving the farm, where should I head to? Where should I go? Leaving the farm, where should I head to? Where should I go? Leaving the farm, where should I head to? Where should I go?
Running out of the farm, the dog met the donkey on his way to Bremen. Hey, dog. In Bremen, they are looking for musicians. The two of them became good friends, and they headed to Bremen together. Clip-clop, woof-woof, clip-clop, woof-woof. Soon after, they heard the sound of a bell ringing. When they looked behind them, the donkey and the dog saw a cat following them. I'm a cat, an old cat. My silky fur is all gone. I'm a cat, an old cat. My body is so chubby. I worked hard to catch mice just to make my master glad. And now she's trying to sell me off, saying old cats are useless. Leaving the farm, where should I go? To where should I head to? Leaving the farm, where should I go? What should I do afterward? Leaving the farm, where should I go? To where should I head to? Leaving the farm, where should I go? What should I do afterward? Meow. The donkey and the dog decided to take the cat with them to Bremen. The donkey, the dog, and the cat became good friends and set off to Bremen. Clip-clop, woof-woof, meow. Clip-clop, woof-woof, meow. All of a sudden, they heard a voice singing ahead of them. An old rooster I can't see anymore Nor make a sound I'm a rooster An old rooster I can't see anymore Nor make a sound I always sang For my dear master And now he's trying To throw me away I always sang For my dear master And now he's saying Leaving the farm, where should I go? Leaving the farm, where should I go? Leaving the farm, what should I do? Leaving the farm, what should I do? The donkey, the dog, and the cat took the rooster with them. The donkey, the dog, the cat and the rooster became good friends and walked toward Bremen together. Clip clop, woof woof, meow, cock a doodle doo. Clip clop, woof woof, meow, cock a doodle doo. The road to Bremen was long and very rough. On their way, they saw a cottage with lights on and decided to rest there for the evening. But then, they heard a mysterious sound coming from the house. To see what was happening inside, the dog climbed on the donkey, the cat climbed on the dog, and the rooster climbed on the cat. The thieves were so terrified by the shadow of the animals, they thought it was a ghost so they ran into the forest. The animals went into the house and ate up all the delicious food that was there. Just then, a man who seemed like the leader came to check the house. The animals hid immediately as they heard the footsteps. <gasps> There's nothing here. What was I scared of? Oh, right. Before my men come back, I'll pack up my jewels first. 
As soon as the thief opened the door, the donkey blew out the candle and the house turned dark. Suddenly, the cat used its four legs to grab the thief's head. The rooster flew up and pecked the thief's face. The dog bit down on the thief's leg. And finally, the donkey kicked the thief with his hooves. Yeah, help me! The leader thief was very scared. He ran to his men and shouted. Four fingers grabbed my head! It pecked my face! Bit my leg and kicked me! This house is haunted! Let's run away before they get us! The thieves ran off, never to return. The donkey, the dog, the cat, and the rooster laughed. And again they set off to Bremen together. Clip clop, woof woof, meow, cock a doodle doo. Clip clop, woof woof, meow. Cock a doodle do. We are the town musicians of Bremen. We love to march and sing together. La 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 Go to Bremen. We are the town musicians of Bremen. We love to march and sing together. I play the bass drum. I play the tambourine. We are the town musicians of Bremen. We love to march and sing together. I love to play xylophone. Meow. I play the cymbals. La 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 Go to Bremen! Junie Tony Story Musical. See you next time. Junie Tony Story Musical. The Lion and the Mouse. Shall we start? On one sunny day, a big lion was taking a nap. All of a sudden, a little mouse came and accidentally bumped into him. Who is it? Who dares to disturb my sweet nap? The lion woke up and snorted angrily. The little mouse was trembling with fear and said, Oh, Mr. Lion, please let me go just this one time. Oh, Lion, the king of animals, please let me go. Lion, the strong and fabulous, please let me go just this one time. Just this one time, someday I will surely repay you. Squeak, squeak, Lion, the king of animals. are quite a little brave thing. Even though I doubt that a small mouse like you will one day save my life, I'll just let you go this once. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. A few days later, the lion was wandering around in the forest and unexpectedly got caught in a hunter's net. <laughs> Help me! The lion was in danger, but none of the animals tried to help him. At that moment, the mouse heard the lion's roaring and came running. Mr. Lion! Let me help you! Hold on, please! The little mouse used his big teeth to gnaw the net and set the lion free. Thank you, little mouse. I will never make light of your little size. From that day on, the lion and the mouse became best friends. 
a big, big lion. A small, small mouse. We, we are, are the, the best friends in this forest. Always help each other. Love one another. You, you are my one, one and only friend. friend. <laughs> <laughs> Junie Tony Story Musical. See you next time. Junie Tony Story Musical, The Fart Match. Shall we start? Once upon a time, there lived a big farter in the upper village and another in the lower village. What was special about their farts? <laughs> Listen up! Mr. Fart, he farts again. It's such a strong fart. The rock's blown away. The boat's blown away. Miss Fart, she farts again. It's such a strong fart. The yard's cleaned up. The laundry's all dry. Whose fart is stronger? Let's have a fart match. Poop, 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 pop, pop, pop. Mr. Fart visited Miss Fart's house. Hey, kid, where's your mother? Mom went to the market, and who are you? I am Mr. Fart from the village up there. I'm here to have a fart match with your mom. Huh? You will never defeat my mom. Huh? What? I'm really good at farting. Huh? <laughs> Can you show me now? Then I'll huh? check how strong huh? it is. When Mr. Fart farted, poop, the boy was blown into the fireplace and got stuck in the chimney. Pop, he stuck his face out of the chimney, but he couldn't move at all. Ah! Mom! Mom! So sorry, kid. I'll get you out! He put his bottom up close to it and poop, poop, he farted. The boy popped up high into the sky and fell in Mr. Fart's arms. Uh, I'm sorry, kid. I'm so sorry. Mr. Fart ran away and Ms. Fart came back oh, to her dear. house. What happened to you? Mom, Mr. Fart from the Upper Village came by. What? When Mr. Fart was passing through the market, whoosh, a big mortar and pestle came flying over to him. He was so surprised and he farted toward the mortar. Poop, then it flew back, whoosh. Hey, bad farter, why did you hurt my boy? I really didn't mean to. No more excuses, bad farter! All people in both villages came together to see the fart match. And just when everyone was watching the match, oh no! A big tiger ran away with the boy in its mouth. Miss Farter was so surprised that she didn't know what to do. At that time, Mr. Farter shouted, On the count of three, fart toward the tiger, okay? Okay! One, two, three! <laughs> Tighten your tummy. Tighten your backside. Let's make big farts. Tighten harder, much harder. Poop, pop, pop, again. Poop, pop, pop, pop. The storm's coming, watch out! Eek! What's that wind? One more time, toward the tiger! Tighten your tummy. Tighten your backside. Let's make big farts. Tighten harder, much harder. Poop, poop, pop, pop, again. Poop, poop, pop, pop. The storm's coming, watch out! The farts were so strong that the tiger and the boy soared up into the sky. And the boy came back to Ms. Fart, <gasps> safe and sound. Whoa. My boy! Mom! Thank you! Um, you're welcome. 
From that day on, the two farters farted in their villages. Poop, poop. And sometimes they farted together. Poop, poop. <laughs> to help other people in the villages. Junie Tony Story Musical. See you again. Junie Tony Story Musical, Farting Daughter in Law. Shall we start? Once upon a time, there was a beautiful young woman who recently married into a rich family. Her face glowed and she had the softest of hair. <laughs> My daughter-in-law is the prettiest woman in the whole world. <laughs> and she has a heart of gold. Oh, you're right, she does. <laughs> but as the days went by, her face turned yellow like Gouda cheese. Uh, oh. oh, dear. Are you all right? Is something Bothering you? You don't look so well. Uh, Father, I haven't been able to fart. I've been holding it in this whole time. <laughs> oh, just let it out as loud as you want. <laughs> it's just that my farts can be quite loud. <laughs> That's no problem, my child. Let it out! <laughs> well then, father, mother, please hold on to the pillar of the house. And dear husband, please hold the gate tight. The daughter-in-law tightened her lower tummy. And the farts began to explode out of her. Alert, fart alert, what a powerful fart. Lovely and shy daughter in law, super powerful. Fart. Holy moly! Uh, if you fart one more time, the whole house will collapse. My, my, you scared us. You can't live with us anymore. Pack your belongings. I'll walk you back to your parents' home. The daughter-in-law had to leave the house. She and her father-in-law walked and walked over the hills. Uh, uh. Dear, I'm really exhausted. Let's take a short break here. Yes, Father. Uh, oh, my, my. Oh, the, uh, the, the pears look so tasty. Uh, and I'm really thirsty. Father, I can pick some pears for you. The daughter-in-law started to tighten her lower tummy. Oh. <laughs> Fart! The pears started to drop from the tree because of her thunderous fart. We are so lucky to have such a talented farter like you. <laughs> 
Illyria. We're so lucky because of our daughter-in-law Sparts. Who cares if her fart is like a typhoon? Illyria, Illyria. We're so lucky because of our daughter-in-law Sparts. Who cares if her fart is like thunder? Ah, you're welcome to return to our house. Let's go. <laughs> the father-in-law brought the daughter-in-law back to his house again. And from then on, the daughter-in-law lived and farted happily ever after with her two family. <laughs> oh, Judy Tony, Story Musical. See you next time.